Oh, I forget. These ones don't light up very quickly. We are here today with another reading. I felt very called to do it. Um, I do have quite a few things to say. <laughs> um, I already cleansed the decks, knocked on the decks, cleansed with sage, put some music in here. You know my routine if you watched the last one. Um, so we'll be getting into this um, real quite quickly. I think I just want to say a few things real quick before we get into the reading. Um, so first of all, let me set this incense down. First of all, um, I went through a surge today of just pissiness. <laughs> I was just fucking pissed, okay? And I was pissed at myself. And, um, but yet at the same time, almost kind of like the previous reading, right? Like where I, I'm totally aware that I am manifesting exactly what I want in my life. I can already see it, already feel it, already know I'm going there, already know I'm doing it, right? And then I got to this point or this moment where I felt so angry. I felt so mad. And then, you know, right now I'm, I'm realizing that's the energy of letting go of that, of like letting go of that. Um, once you feel it, that means it's leaving the body, right? So that anger of not doing what you think you should be doing, not doing enough, whatever, it's gone now, like it's leaving. So if you have any surges of emotions, um, also cravings, I mean, first of all, it's about that time for me, but <laughs> um, something else I want to mention on real quick is like, um, not like guilting yourself if you want to indulge because let me just tell you right now, some of my favorite snacks are chips and salsa, okay, and the munchie, the munchie snack, like the Fritos munchies flaming hot snack, okay, and I've been on this, you know, whatever, we could, this could go many different ways, and you dive into many different things, but I've been getting into the gym, right, starting to work out, and really eat more clean, okay, so, you know, for example, you know, not having snacks like that, right, but... I did have this mindset a little bit where I was like, oh, I can't have it, or yada yada. And then I was like, dude, fuck it. Like, <laughs> I, I know there's red 40 in it, but I love it, <laughs> okay? So I think the message that I received from that is, and it's like, I got some more of my favorite snacks being like, I love like all at one time, like a tortilla chip, some salsa, and some cheese, like sharp cheddar cheese or Swiss cheese, like, don't get me started on that, okay? So, like, just sitting down, eating some of my favorite snacks, and I'm like, why was I, like, guilting myself for eating these things that I really, really love? And I almost had this, you know, I feel like I've had this person around me, okay? Um, this very specific higher self angel energy that has presented um, themselves to me, himself to me, okay and really has been helping me on my journey recently and was like get all your favorite snacks do yeah, do this do that and um you know i'm like bet <laughs> you know so first of all let your emotions out second of all um don't guilt yourself guilt yourself for wanting cravings or like don't like beat yourself up like go fucking indulge in your cravings and then you just feel better you know what i mean like it just it just it's, it's minor okay so that's all I really want to get out, um, is to not really guilt yourself into too many things or, you know, um, believing the inner dialogue, um, and letting your emotions out, letting them flow. Um, so, yep. All right. That's what I wanted to get out real quick. And then we'll get into the reading right now. Welcome back. Okay. Welcome. So. Um, as I, I was pre-shuffling, um, I got quite a few things, or I saw quite a few things. Um, so, let's see. Uh, okay, so they're telling me to start with these, with the oracle. Um, because some of you need to know who's with you right now. Some of you need to know that you're, again, like, guided, protected. Um, they want to show themselves. <laughs> wow, this is very strong. Um, like, because, you know, I almost always start out with tarot, of course. Well, I mean, always, but... 
that's the norm, right? But um, I'm being very cold to start out with this oracle. Okay, so first of all, I saw the star, I saw the chariot, I saw three of cups. So it's like, you are manifesting exactly what you want, okay? Um, it's already there. Um, and I feel like the clouds are clearing is what I'm hearing. Like, um, most definitely divine intervention. All right. Um, so definitely clearing things out. Things are definitely going exactly where they need to go. And all these little minor hiccups, like I mentioned in the beginning, just let them be, you know, like just let them be for real. Okay. Um, because whatever you want, you're able all right, so any messages that need to come through, any spirit guides that want to show themselves for the collective, please. Anything that wants to come through and show themselves, please. Whoa, this one's screaming at me. We have, ooh, 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 ooh. Hojo, beauty way of the Navajo. Oh. Maybe I'm, well, I'm learning Chinese, so I would pronounce that Joel, but that may not be right. Hozo? Oh, ho, hozo? Hozo? Not sure. Not sure. Huh. I'm getting quite a few things from this card. So, yeah, like beauty way. I'm, I'm just hearing like divine beauty from this card. And that it's almost like, whoa, like, I mean, do you see these? I see these as like light codes or the codes of reality. And I very much feel similar. I almost like to see these reads as reads for myself as well. Um, so I definitely have been feeling like as well. And I think, whoops, um, you confirmation <laughs> that you all need to know that you're being shown and being surrounded with literally the light codes of reality or the codes of reality itself. Okay. Um, you're being shown that and um, almost like just accept it, you know. Um, it's very divine. It's very guided. It's very um, meant for you. Um, sacred. Um, I'm hearing the word placenta. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, like you're being fed. <laughs> okay, maybe you know, like you're literally being fed by like a divine spoon by <laughs> by gods themselves. Okay, um, because again, like it's your righteous path. I'm hearing it's it's what you're meant for. Um, and like, it's such beauty here. I've been really been feeling, um, very protected. Like the other day when I was waking up, um, that one male spirit that I was talking to you guys about and his friend. Okay. <laughs> um, when I was waking up, I felt such like peace and comfort and I have a very strong third eye. So I can, I visually, I see everything. Okay. Um, and so like when I was like kind of waking up, like it, it's also blackness, right? So it's like, I see things out of the blackness, but of course there are images, all sorts of things, but I was seeing this person and his friend and it's like, almost like they were admiring me or something, or like, they were just like, just protecting me. And it's almost very similar to this pink, like this pink right here. That's exactly it. And I was feeling very protected and almost admired and like, how, how peacefully I slept and just like pink clouds again, like, and I'm just seeing like little sprites and sparkles and I'm hearing like, again, like sprites and sparkles and like, just like tings and just like, it's just like, Ooh, it's very, um, very, uh, like, Ooh, I just heard like, if anything disrupts you, it'll be heard. Like, it's like clang, clang, clang. Like there's just so much like like charms around you. It's almost like you just cannot be, they will be alarmed first before anything gets to you. That's what I heard. So it's like all these charms around you. And it's like, if any energy tries to come in, there's going to be an alarm sound and it's just, whoosh, it's gone, done. So um, do what you do because you're protected. Like just so very protected and just being fed so much energy right now. Okay. Um, we're just going to set that here just to kind of bottom, bottom the reading. Um, I feel like, Ooh, I think maybe one more wants to come out. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this one here. Woo! That's gorgeous. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, I'm feeling this one too. Wow. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's put this card down because they say, okay, that's enough. We're finished. We're finished. We're going to someone else's reading now. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Like, look at the, like, the rainbow. Okay, well, let's read what these cards are. Blessing of Kumu. No good thing shall be withheld. And Dadiri. Dadiri. Hearing truth. Yeah, exactly. You know, and a dove. For, for some reason. For whatever reason. Okay? This friend that has been um, encroaching me, but not in the bad way, right? Around me. This, this angel. Higher self of, of, of some being that has came around me recently. In the other reading, I was he told me to put dove in the description. He told me to put dove. Okay? Wow. That might be a sign for somebody. Alright? Sign for me, I suppose. Um, but again, like, like, oh my goodness. You're being like woken up. And it's not that you already weren't, but it's like, just like, again, with like the charms and the chimes and the this and the that, like, look at all these like divine, like codes and energies that like you are literally being, wow, this is a sign for me as well. And this is also her left ear. Okay. I've been hearing so much in my left ear. I'm feeling like I'm being like poured. Didn't I say that last reading? Things are being poured into my left ear. Okay. So... Wow, you are hearing truths of the universe, okay? My goodness. Then we have, blessing of the kumu, no good thing shall be withheld. Yeah, there's you, okay? Animal spirits, animal spirits, divine mother. Just the whole god, gosh darn, god dang, good god universe <laughs> is around you you're chosen okay you're seen and you're loved like it's major man and it's like you opening you know this you're opening up and they and they said oh 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 did you know did you know that we were here the whole time do you know do you know how like beautifully colored your world is? This is like so wow. And I'm being called to put it like this just cause like I feel like this is almost just like, this is really, really, really nice. I feel like they said they have more to say later so we'll see, okay? All right. So now we're gonna go in with some tarot. All right, and then I think I'm gonna just dee -dee 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 -dee. make a little bit of space here. Using the same decks as last time. Earth Warriors, Oracle, um, playing cards, but Japanese, Yukio-E, Animal Spirits or Earth Spirits, something like that. And then we have the traditional Rider Waite. Okay. Okay, they're telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sun. Okay. Shining. God damn it, they're shining. How many messages sent you from Jesus? For the collective... Any messages, please, that need to come through at this time, please. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This came out last time. Eight of Wands. Fast, man. It's happening fast. Okay? Oh, my goodness. They want me to take these, so we're going to take them. All right, okay, okay, okay. So we have strength. We have Knight of Pentacles. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, they want me to put this next. We have Ace of Cups. And then we have Two of Cups. Wow, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Let me just explain this here really quick. Okay, so, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, 
you're coming into the strength. I mean, you already have it, right? You already have it. And there's, I'm hearing a beast wants to be tamed. I don't know if there's somebody around you or like a lover, okay, um, that's in your midst that you're really energetically connecting with that they feel like they're a lion or they feel like they're a beast or they feel like they need to be tamed by someone's soothing energy, okay? But as well as like you have gained the skills over time to tame people like this. And it's not like people like this, you know? I mean, the message I said prior was a kind of a separate message, not, not related to what I'm about to say, okay? When I say people like this, I mean, I can relate to this myself because I relate it to, um, like, I work in the grocery industry, okay? I work in customer service. So, and I feel like each customer service or retail, quote unquote, uh, uh, type has its own world, right? Like grocery world is different than Cole's world is different than, um, office Depot world, you know, like they're just different, different things. Um, but of course, same kind of scope, but over like you can, any, anybody who's going to try to motherfucking come in and just like row, row and just like try to bitch you off. You're like, Hey, cool it. Cool it. <laughs> like, and I, I learned how to do that over the years. Anybody can come any, anything. I'm ready for anything. If you play World of Warcraft, what's that? What's a quote? Um, that's a blood elf quote. She says, be ready for anything. I'm ready for anything. Swear to God. I'm, I've learned the skills. You've learned the skills over the years to tame people. To, like, just calm shit down when people want to try and, like, push your buttons or, like, just try and come at you with whatever the hell they got going on for whatever reason. You're like, hey, uh, <laughs> just eh, chill, bro. It's not that, it's not, it may be serious to you, but just chill, bro. You know, I ain't saying it's serious. And then we have Knight of Pentacles. Okay, there's someone who wants to come in and give you a stable offer. Or I'm hearing it maybe like vice versa. Like you want to approach somebody. I'm, I, I'm being told to clarify that it's not like yourself. Like there's some sort of offer coming in of look. Like stability and clarity. And we could really work this out. We could really work on something here. Whether it be maybe like a co-worker or like a very valued co-worker. Or maybe like I'm hearing like the CEO's like, uh, not like secretary, but like close hand. Like you work with them or something like that. Or like, hey, like we could really do something here. And I'm almost seeing what I'm seeing as well as like an evolution of like. Like, of course you have both skills. Like, you have both skills. And you can turn... It's almost like shape-shifting. You can shape-shift into the soother as well as the, like, knight on a horse with stability and, like, look what I've... Look what I've cultivated over the years. I know what... I know... Not, like, who's gonna take my dime, who's gonna take this coin I've coined over the years, but it's like, I've got it, and I'll ride the fuck off and find somebody else who deserves it and needs it and puzzle piece fits, you know? Like the skills to just leave what doesn't serve you, you know? Like, for real, for real. That's, like, for real, for real. I mean, these are cops, man. Like, just... Like, I feel like these are related. Like, the hands, okay? Offers. People see you in your glow. People are seeing you in your glow. And people want to offer you some shit, okay? But you got the skills and the discernment to know who to give that to. And then you go find the right person to give that to. All right. <laughs> Lots of like cups and hands and things and like trade. Okay. Um, kawaii. Okay. This is a <laughs> confirmation for me. All right. Um, so I like this a lot. It's almost like, mm, Mm -hmm. Well, I just got like, I just heard something major. So it's like, I don't know, maybe you go out, try to offer it or, you know, something like that on the horse, but then kind of spirit just comes out of the clouds and says like, yo, 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 wait, 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 do it like this, do it like this, 
do it like this. And then, wow. You know? So, I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to represent, like, a relationship or a lover. I mean, it's just an agreement, you know, like, common ground. And again, like, divinely guided, divinely protected, divinely watched over, you know? So beautiful. We have one more card to um, to finish this or to complete this this little message here. Okay. Again, you know, I was guided to put the oracle underneath to show like 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 uh, the background work, the codes, okay, of like this. So the tarot here, this is this is a 3D, right? Below in the background, that's the 5D, okay? Shit like that. You know what I mean? Like just multi-dimensional. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, and they want me to flip the flip the top one. Yeah, okay, all right, and then what's the bottom one? Yeah, okay, so we're going to take this one out, all right? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, okay, a little bit of message. We'll, we'll get back to that. I knew that was going to come out. That's a higher event. <coughs> okay, so tell me to put this here. Okay, um, so... <laughs> That's funny. I just heard some shit. So it's like once you get to this agreement, it's almost like, whoa, like you're like, Zoom. see you later. And then there's like everyone around you that's like, where'd they go? But I want it. <laughs> like you just out. You gone. Why? Empress. Look at her. Master. Okay. Then we have King of Wands. For some reason, I want to take it in reverse. And I think it's because you're not so hasty about shit anymore. Like, yeah, like master of, of the passion, but it's almost like, it almost seems like he's desperate maybe. But then with the, with it in reverse, it's like, okay, okay, okay. Like, it's like, okay, 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 okay. I get it now. You know what I mean? Like, oh, 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 Empress. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Empress. <laughs> so this is very divine. Very, very divine, like just mm, beautiful energy. Okay. And then being able to discern again, like this is the message here with this is like the discernment, having that knowledge from all that shit you done been through. Like, look how you just came out of that. Like that was you. This is you now. And people, people listen to what you have to say, like for real. Like, so for real. I just peeped to the Ten of Wands. That was back there. What else do we have? We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're not waiting around anymore. You got the world in your hands, and it's time to just fucking go for it. Because it's very, very, like, this is a beautiful story. Very um, or divinely orchestrated and guided, okay? They're telling me to leave it exactly how it is. So let's get some some animal messages, and then we'll maybe clarify with the... With the UPOE, okay? This is cool. I like this a lot. Let's put this, um, maybe, I don't know. I can move my camera down or something, maybe just a teens. I kind of want to get all the cards in there, you know? Ooh, 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 ooh. I want the Empress's face in there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> all right. Any animal spirits that would like to say a few words, you know? <laughs> say a few things, got anything to say? Anything coming through for us? Okay, if you're telling me to take the crow, I'll take the crow. Anything? I think they didn't come out. Oh no, I don't think they came out last time that I saw it. Okay. Ah, I saw this at the beginning. I believe that's the ram. I felt like that one's going to come out later on. When I was doing the previous reading, I felt the ram energy. I was like, that one's going to come out later. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, the eagle. I saw that one too. One more, they say. They say one more. All right. I'm not looking. First, okay, they don't want me to look. All right. Yeah, because they have like the pictures on them. One more, please. One more. That one? This one, this top one. Mmm, the deer. Beautiful. Top of the deck. Ooh! Top of the deck is the cow. Sacred. That's a cool image. Can it stand up on its own? Not really. We'll just do this. Yeah. Okay, so we had the crow first, so let's see. All right. Symbology, renewal, transformation, magic, and abundance. Mm, wonderful. I love crows. 
like the raven with which it mm. Like the raven, with, with which it is often synonymous, the crow wields powerful magic. In Native American myths, the crow restores order to the heavens. A, su a sui belief links the crow to abundance and prosperity. One legend tells of a white crow that warns the buffalo every time a hunter... Whoa. <laughs> One legend tells of a white crow that warns the buffalo every time hunters approach. This leads to hunger and starvation and the crow is eventually captured by the hunters and thrown into a fire. But it escapes before being completely burned, being only blackened by the flames. Black becomes its permanent color. As the crow flees, it promises never to warn the buffalo of approaching hunters again. The crow is thus a kind The crow is thus a kind of phoenix that rises from the ashes, symbolizing renewal, transformation, and the promise of abundance. What did I just what did I what did, what did I just say? Promise of abundance. Promise of abundance. Maybe I was having a little trouble focusing and like reading, so maybe some of you are very um like washed, not like washed up, but like I feel a little bit of the same. Like maybe not like focusing or unfocusing or like just being maybe so almost not like not a negative turbulence, but just like whoa, like this is crazy what's going on here because of so much energy that's surrounding you. So that's very symbolic of that. Um if you see crows, I, I believe that's a sign. I love crows and ravens. Um, and also to me, right, because they all, I feel like they're not, of course, all birds are related, but like related to vultures in the sense of um, kind of, you know, helping like roadkill and things. So that's their food. And then they help trends. They help with the cycle of life and turning things into abundance for the rest of the world. So I believe that's you, you know, I believe that's you. They told me to keep it like this. Okay, and so now we have the ram. Let's see here. Let's get these animals out. How are we looking here? Straighten it up. Okay. All right. We have the ram. Mm. Okay, I, first thing I heard. Woo! I feel like me dropping the cards are like a confirmation. First thing I heard was ancestors. Like ancestors we have whoa yeah this is like egyptian because we have um is it sekhmet it's the cat or met or something like that is cat and i believe horus we have the ram another ram and then is that like a i almost want to say coyote or like a dog is, is Horus the dog? No, Horus? Not sure. Whatever. Egyptian mythology, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely hearing like, again, again, whoa, just got like the conference, conference, <laughs> maybe you're going to one, um, confirmation of the reference of 3D to 5D, like 3D to 5D, you know, 3D, 5D, this is you, that's them, very, very um, supported. Okay, so let's get into it. Symbology, sacrifice, growth, divine life. You're gonna have to sacrifice something and able to grow. But this is not gonna be that hard. Because I, again, I feel very similar. You know, it's like, oh, I'm definitely to that point now where I'm willing to sacrifice um, something here to walk towards a better, a life that is meant for me. So I want to tell a story real quick. They're telling me to tell the story because I wanted to bring it up anyway. So I just went to Target today to get a few more like blocks for my cords. And as I'm walking in, of course, we're, we're on this energetic level up, right? That we've been going through. Um, a lot more like, again, with the chimes, whoa, like, whoo, major vision there. I'm like confirmation of like, I almost got like, ton like, that like bowl or like chimed on my fucking third eye just now, okay? Um, that was a whoa. That was a major rush vision. They're like, yup, that's it. So like, like the chimes and things that are around us and like this protection, um, of course, have been extremely heightened. So I walk into Target and it's almost like just ding, 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 ding. Like I'm just like feeling 
so much around me and like almost like the lower vibrational energies that are around me and as well as like just in target right i mean like and then i was just kind of looking at the clothes like all the things and i'm like holy shit i'm definitely like just leveling up in terms of like consciousness and this is very just straightforward i'm not making a like a diss i'm not doing anything like that to anybody who shops at target or spends time in target no 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 like this is for real for real like i would just walked in and it's just whoa like the amount of like just lower vibrational energy that i was surrounded with that i didn't see before and that includes all of the little trinket things I walk by, all the clothes, like the clothes are low vibrational. Like, like, and I'm not saying if you wear Target clothes, you're low vibrational. I'm just saying like the energy of it, right? Because it is fast fashion. It is like, it's just lower vibrational. And I just like, whoa. And I want, <laughs> I'm going to say it, right? Because I think it makes sense now. And I feel as though someone else may agree. And it also makes sense. When it comes to maybe like higher standards of clothes. Or like higher fashion. Right. I've always wanted that. I've always wanted um, higher brands of fashion. And to be involved in that work. And so then for me to walk into Target. I'm also wearing. Again. I'm just being for real. Right. I'm also wearing. Like Saint and Sophia, that's a very lovely brand. I could link it in the description. Like I'm wearing their coat and their scarf here. Um, you know, like very well crafted and thoughtful. Like when it comes to like, um, uh, like designer things. I believe that there's more energy put in and more consciousness put in. Okay, versus like fast fashion, and I believe that that's a fact. <laughs> you know, like. That's got to be, I mean, th that is what it is, right? Because fast fashion is, those workers are just da -da 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 just to make a penny, you know, versus literally in like an art, like in a studio, hand sewing like these beautiful piece and admiring this one beautiful piece or getting, having a piece made for you specifically, okay? Things like that. That kind of vibration is what I'm going towards and what I'm in. So for me to walk in there and just be like, ding, 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 like hear all these like, just like alarm sounds going off around me. And just, I was just like, whoa, I've never felt like this before. I've never like, I was like, I don't belong here anymore. I need to move on. <laughs> you know, like I need to move from this place. I've got places to be. I've got things to do and it's time to go. All right. So. That's that I needed to say that that's that reference there. Okay, so Ram. <clears throat> Symbology, sacrifice, growth, divine life. The Ram is a symbol from ancient mythology that has long been associated with sacrifice and ritual slaughter. The Ram's death is not only an offering, but a precursor to rebirth and thus a symbol of renewal. The Ram's association with new beginnings and new life is reflected in the astral astrological sign of Aries, which marks the start of the astrological year in spring. In the Odyssey, the hero Odysseus narrowly escapes from the Cyclops cave and, cer and certain death, narrowly escapes the Cyclops cave and certain death by clinging to the underbelly of a ram, which hides him from the Cyclops view. That's a great story, by the way. The Odyssey, I should read that again. We had to read it in school, but I loved it because I was really in that world. Like, I'm very visual. I have a very, um, very powerful mind's eye. I've always, I always have. Um, so really love that book. Um, anyway. In the painting, the ram is shown holding a branch, a reference to the universal, universal tree of life. Below, a woolly white ram is being honored by animal deities. The Kalmuk people of Mongolia would consecrate such a white ram from their flock, giving it the title, the Ram of Heaven. This holy ram was never shorn. Okay. I'm hearing you're not being shorn. <laughs> right? Because you need that protection. You deserve that protection. Like, oh my God, they so badly want you to level up with them. It's a cycle. It's a cycle of life, of, of beyond the 5D, of like beyond the 3D. 
This is how life works. You level up, you become one of the ancestors, and you help others. And then yada yada, you level up, and you out this card, and you and you in the 70, you in the 60, 80, infinity D, you know, you curating universes. Okay? For real. All right? That's for real, for real. I feel like I don't need to say much more on that. So we have the deer. We have the deer. Hmm. I'm hearing the word chaos. Because this card is a little chaotic. But not, you know, never in a negative way. And then we have crows here. That's cool. Hmm. There's some, like, writing down here. Hmm. And, like, either a river or a tree and, like, moon and... I mean, the deer's life can be quite chaotic. I mean, for real. All right, so. Instinctual energy, symbology. Instinctual energy, independence, and regeneration. Yeah. You know, I mean... For real, like the deers are very, very tuned in and sensual to their environment. And like, deers are just such beautiful creatures. All right. Graceful, swift, and elusive, the deer has symbolized the powers in nature that are not easily subdued. A deer's antlers, which are shed and regrown each year, are specifically associated with regeneration and renewal. A swift deer with golden antlers was sacred to the Greek goddess Artemis whose realm was the wilderness and the instinctual, and instinctual, untamed things. His realm was the wilderness, instinctual, and untamed things. A deer is also a symbol that summons individuals to a calling or journey. It has frequently appeared in legends and myths as a creature who lures a hunter or knight into the wilderness. In the legend of King Arthur, a deer leads Sir Gawain, Gawain? That's how they're telling me to say it. Sir Gawain into the wood to begin his adventures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By life itself, man, you're being drawn and guided to your divine purpose. And I'm telling you, it's going to be easy for you to let this shit go. It's going to be easy for you to let this shit go. Easy for you to let this shit go. You? They're gonna be so mad. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad that you did it. I'm telling you, bro. That's so funny to me. Oh, that's great. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the eagle. Hmm. Okay, my computer just exhaled. <laughs> Power, creation, illumination, exploration. Yeah, that would that seems very uh, fitting for the end here, or you know the end of the reading. Or oh, yeah, okay. I I don't think they want me to pull any more. You know, I feel like this is pretty good. All right, almost every culture that has had that has had contact with eagles has imbued them with power and influence. Native American tribes worship the bird as the great spirit, the creator of all things. Eagle legends frequently involve journeys into dangerous or unknown territory. A Northwest Native American myth tells of the eagle sitting out with the coyote to the land of the dead to retrieve the spirits of the deceased. Eagle feathers have thus been... What did I... Oh my God! What did I fucking say, dude? What did I say? Like, I mean, it's guaranteed. After this life. It's done. It's over. You're leveling up. Retrieving the spirits of the deceased. Damn. Eagle feathers have thus been used as talismans by shamanic healers venturing into the nether world, and they are given as rewards for individual feats of courage or bravery. In this painting, the eagle blends with the face of a woman, suggesting the power of anima, feminine archetype. The eyes of the eagle appear in repeated succession. And the woman looks into the distance, signifying courage and foresight. Yeah, that's you. That's you. Uh, yeah, that's you. <sighs> wow, this is really, really great. 
like, this is really great. <laughs> okay. This is really great. Man, look at that image. I don't really want to say any more. <laughs> I don't think there's any more to say, to be honest with you. Like, god damn. There's really no more to say. Like, for real. I mean, rewatch it if you need to, but wow, I'm hearing, like, close it off because, like, tch, that was really great. Okay, guys, so this is the message I have for you. That's really fantastic. That's really great. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you take care. I hope you stay in peace, and I hope this reading finds you well. All right, thank you. Take care. Okay, real quick, real quick. They're telling me because, wow, what a beautiful story that was with the animal cards because it was the crow, the ram, the deer, and then the eagle. Like, what an evolution that was. I just saw a whole story, right? Like, almost like the crow picking up after the, you know, after the dead things and then, then flying to, like, the realm of the ancestors with, like, the ram and then realizing his duties. And then going on, moving on to the deer, being lured into his divine purpose and his divine path into the wilderness and being shown how to not be scared by anything anymore. That That is his divine purpose and divinely protected. And then to end it with the eagle, being able to soar above the wilderness, being able to fly in and help those who need it. Man, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Beautiful. And then, sorry guys, I forgot to read the cow. I believe this is almost like ancient knowledge, like just ancient gold, ancient knowledge, all right? Fertility, purity, divinity. The cow is among the most ancient of sacred animals. In Egypt, a cow sculpture with a golden sun between its horns was paraded about in a nocturnal passion play depicting the death of the god Osiris an annual event performed on Egyptian All Souls Day. The cow figure itself represent, represented Isis, the wife of Osiris, who was in search of the body of her dead husband. Isis, the foremost Egyptian goddess, was associated with abundance and fertility. Cow cults existed in Greco-Roman cultures. The beast is still sacred in India, where it's considered a being of great purity and fertility. In Hinduism, the bovine represented the female power in nature, whereby the earth itself is conceived as a cow and all vegetation and food derives from its milking. This painting recalls the ancient Egyptian representations of Isis. All right, there you go. Beautiful. They're telling me to pick this one up. They got more to say. Okay, see, and then there's the eagle, so then that's it. But this is the caribou. I think this, didn't this come out in the last one? In the last one? We'll say it again. Caribou, caribou make long annual migrations and are associated with the cycle of life. The Inuit peoples believe that as the caribou return to them each season, so did souls return to earth after death, taking the form of either beast or human. Wow. So did souls return, so did souls to earth after death, taking the form of either beast or human. I didn't catch that really before, like, or human. In the painting, different animals, including a polar bear, ox, ram, a go and goose, appear within the body of the caribou. This composite signifies the kinship of all life and recalls the Inuit belief of in the universal soul. Yeah. You know? Just. <sighs> it's very beautiful. It's a very, 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 very beautiful story, okay? Very beautiful story, okay? All right. I'm going to skedaddle. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Very much appreciate it. And so do they. They appreciate you. They appreciate the work you're doing. Okay?